You want horse camping? You want horse camping? Hmm? You want to go horse camping? Yes. Yeah. Go. Go through it. Sorry, Chez, you're actually not going horse camping. You have to stay here. Good morning, guys. My alarm just went off like five seconds ago. And um, I'm getting up. I'm getting changed. My house smells like something's burning. All right, we're on the road. My car is full of stuff. Animals are all fed. I think I have everything. I'm sure I'll figure out what I forgot by the time I get there. And now I gotta go to my dad's because I'm taking my dad's truck instead of mine. Because my truck, I don't know if I've talked about this before, but um, my truck actually has an issue where the steering wheel locks up, it like locks, like where I can't move it. <laughs> and sorry for the bad lighting. Nobody else in my family has been able to get it to do that, but it happens to me like every time I drive it. Um, and so I don't feel safe hauling with that, especially two hours away. So yeah, we're gonna take my dad's truck, but I gotta go get it. Packed, I got my wood. I do need to grab a bale of hay. Gave these guys some green. Katie, what you doing? She's actually coming outside the barn now, you guys. Oh, goodness gracious. What are you doing, Katie? Which, since she's been here, I haven't noticed her go outside the barn much, but she's actually going out. All right, guys, I think I'm ready. I'm trying to think if there's anything I'm forgetting, and I don't think so. I got everything out of my car. And I think I'm ready to hit the road. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna try not to film too much boring stuff like of just me driving, cause I think we are gonna ride today later when I get there. Okay, I think we are gonna ride, so I'm gonna spare you all the boring time lapsing and stuff. And um, try not to do too much of that, but I'm gonna go do chores and get Sarah now. All right, I just put Sarah in the trailer. So I'm gonna put Miss Luna outside in her lot for the weekend. Cause like, why not? She might as well be out there. And there's plenty of hay out there. Good girl. Sorry, I didn't give you a treat like I usually do. I'm gonna go outside for the weekend. Luna, babe. I know, outside. You're gonna go outside. Sarah loaded in the trailer great. So hopefully she is good when we get to the campground because it's gonna be a long drive. Oh, oh, uh -uh. oh. I have to unclip you. Good girl. Go run. No, nope, you're not gonna run. Just gonna look. Oh, there we go. She's like, there's nobody out here. Because usually Sarah's in this lot. Um, and I do put her and Sarah together sometimes when the other lot has a different horse in it. Um, Sarah doesn't really like Luna, but Sarah is also pretty high in the herd. She's not the top horse, but she's pretty close. So she kind of pushes her around. Okay, anything I need from here? I don't believe anything. Got everything packed, so. All right, 
I'm gonna stop at a gas station and get a bite to eat, like something for breakfast, and then I'll be on the road. So I don't think I'm gonna film on the way there because it's gonna be like two hours and I'm just gonna be driving. So I'm probably just gonna see you guys when I get to the campground. So all the horse stalls. My spot is right behind this trailer here. Kind of an interesting spot. Look, they got wash stalls, hitching posts. Woo! All right, I'm guessing I can just put her in a stall because I have reserved one stall. So. Sarah, you're finally here. That took forever, didn't it? Yeah, this is terrible lighting for a picture. But we made it. And now I gotta figure out where to check in. Where are we at, Sarah? She hasn't even winded yet, surprisingly. Ooh, who these? This, I believe, is um, our friend's horse that I'm here with. So hopefully they can get to know each other so that we can ride together. She did, literally, she like doesn't even care. She's like not whinnying, freaking out or anything. Okay, now I gotta figure out where I check in at because I have no idea. I don't even see like an office or anything. So, oh, I should probably keep her lead rope here to find my checkbook. Ugh. And yeah, figure out where I'm supposed to check in. Just checked in. Isn't this place so cool? These are the bathrooms right here. And there's like, like that's a dining hall back there. All kinds of stuff. So it's not that far from our campsite. And then you can rent little cabins like that. Super cool. Okay, I managed to get my tent set up. Never set up a tent before, but it's up, it works. Sarah literally hasn't made a peep. Like she's been super quiet and yeah. Yeah, she's been really quiet and good. So just cleaned out a little bit of the trailer here and maybe I should give her some hay before we ride. Although she ate all morning at home, I'm sure. I don't know, I think she's okay. Uh, my friends next to us, you'll probably see them in the videos, they have like a nice enclosed camp, like living quarter trailer. But I actually, I don't mind tent camping. I'm a tent camping person. Okay, that was a little loud. the best thing ever but got saddled getting my bags packed and then we're gonna go
All right, guys, we've just been sitting down and hanging out for a little while. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> riding my old reliable horses like has made me forget how chaotic riding a greenies are. Oh my gosh, my knees are so sore and my ankles and those trails were hard. Like they have pretty advanced trails out there and Sarah was doing really good, but damn, my legs. Oh my God, I'm like out of trail shape, you know? Um, because like most of the parks and stuff around where I live, they're all pretty flat, pretty open. They have like pretty advanced trails. So like now I'm really sore, <laughs> but I'm gonna try. I have a little fire pit there. I'm gonna try probably once it gets a little darker to start a fire so I can cook. I brought veggie, veggie dogs, and then I have veggie Italian sausages. And I have eggs for breakfast. Or I guess I could eat them too with my veggie dogs. But I'm just gonna hang out right now and eat a little bit. Um, they are eating in their trailer, but they brought like meat. I don't eat meat, so I feel like kind of weird going in there while they're eating. Oh, shoot. I don't know. But yeah, I gave Sarah a nice bath as you guys saw and she really liked it. Um, I've only hosed her off one time, which I think I showed you guys when I did that. Um, and Melanie helped me. And she wasn't too fond of it then, but she did really good when I hosed her off over there, so. Also, I'm gonna give Sarah some green. I didn't wanna give it to her right after she went on that really hot, hard ride. But, and usually when she's really hot, she doesn't even want any grain. Here, lady. We'll get you some more hay, too. Oh, sure. She had these real short little legs. And I wasn't going to breed her because of that. But before I could get her, she came into heat before I could. Um, I was going to get her fixed right after that. And then my husband forgot that she was still in heat. And let her outside as a breeder. And then we got. Well. All right guys, hopefully you guys can see me a little bit with the fire here, but um, I'm just wrapping up the night now. I've got a fire going and the other girls went over to the covered arena. I think they're doing like some cattle sorting or something over there, but I had to make some phone calls. So I'm just hanging out here and I think I'm gonna probably set up my sleeping bag and stuff here in a little bit, but um, Sarah did really good today so far. Um, she had some attitude but it was manageable. She just kept wanting to trot when everyone else was trotting. Well, not, not really when everyone else was trotting, but if somebody was like trotting behind us, she'd want to just start trotting and wouldn't listen to me. <laughs> so I had to definitely do her some circles like when she wouldn't listen because like I didn't ask her to trot. So I don't care if she does it a little bit, but it kind of got to the point where she was just going to trot when she felt like trotting. So that and yeah she did she did a lot I didn't take her down to the arena earlier just because she did a long ride today which she's not used to so I figured she did enough for today but other than that I'll let you guys stop looking at this really bad lighting and I will see you guys tomorrow for day two